Hey guys, Neil here. Just gonna show you how to install and remove your Speedy on a six bolt setup. Uh, the first thing you're gonna have to do is remove your back wheel. Now we're gonna use the stock T25 to remove the magnet and bolts. Okay, now we're gonna clean it down the disc surface and make sure everything's nice and tidy. Also this bolt surface here, so the disc goes back on nicely. Try not to touch the surface. On this DT Swiss hub, the cap pops straight off. So we need to give this a good clean, make sure there's no contaminants on that. Now all you do is disc on. This is my unit that I've been using for about 300Ks and pretty much as, as it was from new. Put that straight on. And then we can put our screws and just get them all started and then we'll do the final pull up later. Now we're just nipping up the bolts to manufacturer specifications, usually about five to six newton meters. And then we can just quickly clean the ring gear again, make sure there's nothing in there. The magnet goes straight in. These bolts are made of stainless. Even the disc is stainless, but they actually uh, are slightly magnetic. So it'll, it'll sit into the ring gear quite nicely. And then we're going to put the cover on. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna gently push with our thumbs from, from the center. If we push on the outside, it's really flexible and it can potentially break. So we're just gonna gently rotate and push down from the center until it just touches. There's barely any pressure on there at all. Okay, until it spins nice and pretty. There's no movement, no excessive noise. Uh, that noise there is, is just the two plastics touching as they seal. There's a seal surface here and two in the center. Some bikes have a steel axle and what happens with those ones is the magnet can get attracted to the axle which makes it really difficult to get the cover on. So what we do in this case is we put the magnet into the cover and then we use our factory magnet that we've taken off, put it on the outside, that holds it in position while we press the cover on and give it a little rotate and it'll click into place and then we take that off. And that's it, that's essentially it. Uh, just make sure that's it's running nice and smoothly. There's no excessive noise. It's not flexing in at all. Do your rear axle up to manufacturer's specifications again. Done. Ready to rip. This is how quiet it runs during operation. When it first starts out, it is slightly noisier as it beads in. It should be gone by your first ride it should be nice and quiet like this this is a brand new speedy and when they're new the gears are nice and fresh so the noise you'll hear is actually quite a high pitch that'll be what it sounds like before it's bed in so when you first start it up it will have a high pitch noise to it and after your first ride it'll maximum should sound like that but in all honesty, it wears slightly and then it runs virtually silent. And this is how you remove it. Um, so what we've got is just three notches under each, there's three under, one under each nut um, under the head of the bolt and you simply pry gently under each one. And all that does is pops, pops it off the heads of the bolts. It's not actually held on by the bolts. And the advantage with the DT Swiss hub is the whole thing, the end cap comes straight off. But what I'll show you for everybody else is that you can get your fingers under there and slide the whole unit off as one if you ever need to take it off. What you really don't wanna do is get under here and try, try and take this cover off. You actually can, but you shouldn't because this is what happens. It's super easy just to use the three notches with a screwdriver or a wheel brace, 
try a lever and just pop it straight off. To reinstall, you don't actually need to take these bolts out again. You can simply put it on top, push onto the heads of the bolts so that it's nice and tight. You'll need to do it quite hard because they are fairly firm. It does not come off. It's holding the whole wheel off the ground. And then put your magnet back in and cover back on top.